The combination of generative AI and AR authoring offers infinite possibilities to accelerate creation and unlock your imagination. In this video, we'll teach you how to generate creative assets directly in Lens Studio 5.0 Beta. Let's learn how. In the Asset Browser, select the new Generative AI tab, under which we'll see three options, Face Mask Generation, PBR Material Generation, and Texture Generation. Each of these has use cases for a variety of lenses. Let's take a look at each feature so that you can start having some fun with these powerful tools in your own creations. Texture Generation is the simplest to understand of the three new generators. Texture Generation allows you to generate 2D images in Lens Studio for use in your materials. Choose Texture Generation from the list, and here we will be able to create 2D images based on natural language prompts. Quickly generate and test multiple ideas, experiment and rapidly generate as many textures as you want, allowing you to iterate and get the best idea quickly. Each of these generative AI features start with a text prompt written in natural language. Let's say we would like to have a library of animal prints for our next lens. Type leopard print into the prompt and click generate. Voila! You can quickly create a number of new, unique texture options from tiger stripes to giraffe patterns to cheetah prints. Texture generation also has settings to control and fine tune the generated image. Seed value can be random, which means the output is different every time you generate, or it can be fixed, allowing you to edit a prompt for a single output. Generation steps can be lowered to speed up iteration time or raised for slower but more refined results. Guidance scale can be used to adjust how closely or strictly the AI tries to match your prompt text. The power of texture generation is to easily help you explore and discover creative ideas faster. The Gen AI features in 5.0 Beta also go beyond two-dimensional generation by allowing you to liven up your 3D assets with generative PBR materials. Physics-based rendering PBR, materials have long been a standard in Lens Studio, and while they look great, generating materials for your assets can be a time-consuming and labor-intensive part of the development process. This is another area where generative AI can help shorten development time and make creation more fun. Each generated material includes color, metallic, roughness, and normal maps, which can also be re-imported back into our favorite material creation tools for editing and final polish if needed. To get started, simply provide a source model or choose one of the three mesh presets and provide your next great prompt. The Face Mask Generator allows you to create 2D or 3D AR masks based on images suited to fit the basic dimensions of a human face. To demonstrate what's possible, let's create a lens that transforms the end user into a lion. Select the Face Mask Generator from the Generative AI tab. Now let's enter Lion into the prompt field. Before we click Generate, let's look at another setting that can influence the output, the negative prompt. The purpose of negative prompts is to define characteristics of the generated output that you want to exclude or avoid. Just as we can use prompts to dictate what we want to see, we can use negative prompts to avoid certain characteristics. Let's add a few terms to the negative prompt, like grayscale and low resolution. Some other ideas could be blurry, watermark, text, logo. With the prompts complete, we can now click generate and wait for the results. And there we have it. Now we can continue having some fun with the rest of the creative process for our lens. We hope you enjoy faster and more fun AR creation in Lens Studio utilizing these new generative AI features. We can't wait to see your creations.